Hi guys, welcome to my channel. I just want to do a quick uh, short video or review on this next base 7 inch in car DVD player. Now I choose to get this because I have a super hyperactive kid, about 3 year old, who just wouldn't stay still in the car. Uh, it doesn't matter if the distance is short or if the distance is long, he's just all over the place and sometimes that can be quite distracting, especially for you as a driver. And to make it also easy on his little sister when she wants to do her own thing he's just all over her all right so I, I just decided to get one of these and just basically experiment with it and see how it would work it's from um, it's next base seven inch and um, this was uh, I think it was just a little below half price discount all right it was just below half price discount and so I just choose to pick it up and um, it's not an unboxing video because I've already taken it up I've already put it together and fit it to my car I'll show you that in a bit but it came with some pretty decent standard features like uh, let me just put this here and zoom my camera so you can see properly all right it's seven inch um, easy fit multi-function remote i'll show you the remote and it shows you the different formats of video that you can play show you the different connection it came with it also has the ability to connect a wireless headphone but it is not through bluetooth it is through built-in infrared all right so if you have an infrared wireless headset then that will be perfect it also comes with a 12 volt car charger or adapter and um, it all it can also hook up to your main um ports or your main adapters to your electricity or your current in your house all right so if you just don't want to use it in your car if you want to use it in your house it can work as well all right it came shock proof uh, which means that once you're driving and you you the car is like going up and down and vibrating and going over bumps and going into potholes and all that it means that it wouldn't affect or it wouldn't cause the video to skip which is a good feature to have all right it has built-in stereo speaker it also came with wire headset which is this basically this is not the best but if you're using it on a kid it, it, it the kid is not going to worry about the quality of the headset as long as they're hearing something i don't think they will mind using this all right some of the other things it came with is just some manuals I, i'm not too big on these manuals because they're in different languages so if if you're not used to these and you want to know how to hook them up easily then you have the instruction manual here which is in english all the others unless you speak these languages would be of no use to you all right okay so it's pretty decent it's already out of the box as i said it's right here hooked up on my car um these are all the function buttons here all of them are working quite well two speakers here one on the left and one on the right seven inch screen hooking it up was not difficult uh, it's simple as you can see this is latched on to this using this piece of um, this screw knob here there is also one at the other side so once you can get these lined up together from one side to the other then you're good to go and this is basically to keep the monitor steady this one right here very 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 easy all right at the top of it this is where you open the dvd player and you could actually put in your movies right there as you can see all right and then on the other side is where you have all the different buttons and and the outputs and inputs for example if you have an extra monitor to put on your seat on the other seat here so the other person here can see exactly what's going on because if you're sitting in that seat over there it might be difficult to see the full screen as you would want to from this angle one of the one of the things that i don't like with this is that it can only go up and down but it cannot go left to right all right so only the person who's sitting directly in front of it and the person who's sitting in the middle seat like the baby right here then the other one too will get the best in terms of the quality of the picture itself all right so this is the power source right here okay let me just get this focused all right so what i did i just plugged that in right here 
in my um they call it this cigarette lighter charger thing but this is the 12 volt um power source right here this is the remote control very good remote i've tested it and everything seemed to work very convenient very nice to hold in your hand the buttons are big enough decent enough all right battery goes here it's not the regular um triple a or double a batteries but these are quite convenient as well you can pick these up at any stores any convenience stores in town and then replace it all right so there you go also one of the things that i i did as well was to hook this up to all my speakers this car has six speakers so i got one of these um 3.5 inch jacks it is about five meters long all right so i hooked it up to the auxiliary port right at the front of the car as you can see right here so it runs right under the mat behind the chair so it's not really a trip hazard to anybody and then it ends up back here all right so instead of straining to hear it because this is not like any hi-fi um boom song speakers so if there are a lot of noise going on around you and you're in, a, you're in a noisy environment then you can hear this through the car speakers all right so i'm gonna fire this up so you can see the quality of the picture and tell me what you think all right so this is it it's fired up and this is a disney movie I think it's it's just finished. Let me see if we can rewind a bit. So in the end, it's love that's the reason. All right, so you can basically turn the volume up using the remote control itself, along with the. Um, the car controls at the front all right so you have two ways to control the volume at the front and also at the back of it so as you can see it's not bad in terms of quality it's not it's not a, a 7.5 stereo thing that you can hook up in your car it's basic but for something as small and cheap as this the quality is not bad at all all right as you can see your hard work is about to be rewarded. Close your eyes and hold out your hands. Oh, Mr. Mortimer, I can't thank you enough. Yes, I know. Now don't interrupt. Now this spot, this hey. white spot you're seeing on the Order. screen here and has nothing to do with the screen. It's just because the light, the light is on on the camera on my phone that, that I'm using to record. That's, what, that's why you're seeing this white spot right here. Uh. All right, apart from that, it's, no it's beautiful, it's good for the purpose. Um, my kid has, has been enjoying this. It's, it's kept him quiet since I've installed this and, and I've placed and I've put in all his favorite videos. Um, he just watch until he falls asleep. All right, so the excess wires I have, I just have them in this conveniently placed pocket at the back of my car seat. And on this side, I have all his favorite DVDs right here. All right. So if somebody's in the back with him, they can just pull one out and change it. If no one is at the back, I can just pull the car over somewhere safe and change the video for him. All right. So this has worked perfectly for me. Okay. So if you have a child who's, as I said, super hyperactive like mine, especially when you're driving and it can be distracting for you then I would recommend getting one of these. All right, remember the brand? There are loads of them out there, but this one works well for me. It's Next Base 7 inch in car DVD player. All right, so that's it. If you ask me if I'll recommend it, I'll say definitely get one for your kid. Thanks for watching. I'm out.